happy Thursday. Welcome back. Beautiful day here in New York on this lovely September 20th. Hopefully everyone had a uh, exciting morning. A lot of stuff going on. Hopefully uh, everyone had a – we had a great day yesterday. We're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk about the TLRY. We're going to talk about something uh, one of my uh, fellow students out there told me what his wife said to him, which I, I think you guys are going to uh, fall off your chair because I think we've all been there and done that. And uh, regarding what happened yesterday and what's going on this morning, because this is what we do every morning, right? So <laughs> let's go back and get ready to start. Good to see you guys. Good to see you, Grant, Neil, Ted, everyone here at Cyber Trading. All right. So uh, first of all, let's talk about the big news, and we're going to talk about the TLRY. Um, we go. All right. Let's just bring up this TLRY. So we all know what the hell happened to TLRY. I, I mean, here you have a stock. That we traded, and um, you can go back in our, you know, a good way to backtrack what we do um, and know what stocks that we trade. You go back to our Twitter feed, and you can see we've been trading the stock since it's been 25, and it's just like just when you thought the party was over, you just kept getting back into it, and it keeps sucking you back in. And here you have one of our greatest winners um, of 2018. It went from 22 all the way to 300. And so many people just made so much money on it. And um, I mean, I, I don't even know where to start, but we have shout outs everywhere. First of all, Steve M, right? Steve, when did you ever think you would make $70? $70, I'm sorry, 70 points on a trade. Rob made 28 points. David made 61 points. It is unheard of. Okay, you don't do that. Let's give every let's give, give all those guys a round of applause. You know, listen. I don't want to. You know, we know there's a lot of good traders in here, and I don't like to always bring up the same names and everything. But there are people here that work so hard to get to where you are today, and never thought that this is that like you could ever be in a position like this. And like, listen, this is what we do here. This is what we do here. Listen, you probably missed the the NIO. You probably missed the Elfin. You know, you probably missed the the IQ trade that we've done. And you know what? When you when you hear me telling you that um, stocks going up, what five hundred percent, a thousand percent? They're like, yeah, right. What is this? Uh, a penny stock? Okay. Oh well, yeah, it's a penny stock. No problem. Why don't you come and look at it and see what it was? And it's not, you know. So with all that, all that scrutiny that's out there, and people think that people lose money at it. You know what? We just proved their case. So anyway, I want to tell you a funny story from a student, and I don't want to. I can't. I, I can't. I, I told him I'm not going to mention his name, but you've all been there. And I says, you know what? I have to share this in the morning meeting. So anyway. Um, some of you really had to convince your, you know, your, your spouse to really come and be part of Cybertrain Vertice or even just like get into this business, right? You're like, you know what? I really want to do this, but um, – and you know it's not cheap to do this. You know, like listen, education's not cheap. You know, you got to do it right. You can't do it half ass. It's not just paying a subscription. You got to be a student, right? And a lot of you here like really, really, really had to go out of your way to, to, to be part of CTU. And to be part of our program. So this one student really had to pressure his wife to be a student. And, and I worked out something with him, you know, to make it very – to make him part of the team. I was very – you know, being very uh, uh, reasonable and rational because I said this. I said, listen, you're going to make the money back, okay? The only reason why you're going to fail is because you got greedy, you got cocky, and, you know, and you just you – know, whatever. It just happens. You know, if you fall off the diet, you're going to lose. So, um, so he, he basically, uh, what he did was he went out there, he, 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 he made an, he made an effort to be part of the team and, uh, and finally he's starting to turn a corner and it literally took him like two, three months to really get it. And like, I always tell everyone the, the, the biggest reason why people, um, don't succeed faster than I would like in CTU is because they got bad habits. Maybe they took a course of someone else and, you know, and they're trying to, or they're stuck in a position, whatever it is. So to make a long story short, he traded the TLRY and, uh, and he made, made a killing on it, right? He made all his money, which he spent here at CTU, plus the money he spent at another school, plus, plus, you know, um, that he paid for what he wanted to make a year. So he showed his wife, right? And, and, and you know what his wife said to him? He goes, she goes, that's all you made? 
okay? Like, and he's looking at it like, honey, you gave me such a hard time to be part of CTU, and then he took this, and, and, and you were literally going to divorce me, and now this is what you say? And you, she was just like, you know, with, with, a, with a smile on her – and he says she was a smile on her face uh, because she didn't want to admit she was wrong. She didn't want to admit she was wrong, but, you know – but anyway, she was happy for him, happy for the family, and I'm just happy that I made another family out there uh, successful in the trading, you know, trading world, you know. And I'm just happy for I'm just happy for you guys that you did really, really well. And and let me tell you this, let me tell you this, guys. There's gonna be another one. There's gonna be another one. Don't worry about it. We get one probably once a month, like go up a thousand, two hundred thousand percent. But you know what? Twenty percent, fifty percent a day. You know, we get two, three a week. Uh, awesome story, similar to mine, but my wife uh, is 100% uh, supportive, James is saying. Grant says, great story. Uh, Joanna, uh, Grant, I have been making money since uh, the HD, the mining, and uh, a little uh, little cheapies. Uh, great story. Well, I'm glad you guys are, are here. And I want to share that story with you because I know a lot of you people really know you can make money on this, but you also don't want to upset your, sec you know, your spouse and stuff like that. And... Um, you know, and, and I, I deal with it all day long, but – and I said, listen, trust me. We're going to get there. The only reason why you're going to – and you're going to miss this one. You might miss another one, but listen, you stick it out. We'll do great, okay? So um, I, always, I just wanted to share that with you, and I thought it was a great story. And, 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 and listen, if you guys have any other stories, send them to me, and, you know, I won't bring up names or whatever it is, but, you know, but we all have been there. We all have done that. But anyway, let's get right into it. And get right in because the market's going to be opening up a little bit. We got a couple of stocks on this watch list. And um, listen, the TLRY, guys, I said this yesterday. I said, you know what? I think the stock can go to 200. Hell, who knew it was going to go to 300, right? But um, once the stock broke like 150, whatever it is, and we were just looking at $75. This is crazy, you know? It was at 20. Who who would have ever thought, you know? But, um, but you know, listen, we all did great on it. It's all that matters. Anyway, let's talk about some other stocks because now we're starting to get something that's a little bit out of our price range, starting getting a little crazy, and you're like, is there anything else out there? Can we trade? Listen, there are a lot of other ones out there to trade. There was one this morning, the BNEV trade, um, that one was doing really, really well, and then she kind of backed off a little bit in the pre-market. And you know, in the morning hours, I do give you the pre-market list now. I know that was, uh, I know you guys like that, so I'm now starting to load it up. I start working around 7:30 in the morning, so by 8 o'clock when the room opens, you guys have a little bit of a game plan. But she is the biggest percentage gain on the list. She already trades six million shares. That one's going to work on the watch list. Fold. I want to keep an eye on this one too. Um, I spelled it wrong. Hold on. F O L D. There we go. Uh, fold is gapping up pretty nicely. Stock took a nice little big hit, breaking lower lows. Maybe now it's starting to um, uh, make a little bit of comeback right here. But she is gapped up. She's got good volume, up 8%. Uh, everyone remembers BLDP. We've done this. We traded the stock several times. Nice little cheap stock. You know, stock's been breaking out. She's also been up the last couple of days ago. But um, this stock, if I remember correctly, it's a level one stock. You can see the matrix. It's got some really, really good iceberg orders out there. 7,000s. You know, thousands, you know, you got good orders out there. So you could trade some uh, trade some size. Uh, another stock, L-I-Q-T. Uh, I don't know. She was up. She was moving up nicely. She's starting to gap down a little bit. I might, have to, I might change my mind on this one. She up 11%. Look at this big iceberg order out there. 29,000 shares, 7,000 shares. It's the reason why it's probably backed off right at that resistance levels. There's your little telltale window. IGC, another stock that we've been trading a couple of days ago. The stock went from 60 cents to 220. She's been moving nice from yesterday to today. She, but the, the, the but the pre market has been not too cooperative. Uh, breaking lower lows. Let's you know now it's a little bit too late to jump into it. Um, let's see what happens at 9:30. And then the NIO, I'm throwing that back on a watch list. That one had a really nice move yesterday. One of also of our really good iceberg orders. We made a lot of money in NIO. A lot of money. Uh, remember, this is that uh, another uh, sp a copy of uh, Tesla. One stock I really thought was very interesting this morning and I was really excited about. I want you to keep an eye on this one, LCI. I'll tell you why. The stock gapped down from 14 all the way down to 6. It kind of found a support level right around 480. She's gapped up a little bit right now this morning. This could be a little bit of a sleeper out there. A lot of volume going on, 90,000 shares. 
great orders everywhere. She did come down just a little bit from 540, uh, 545 to 530. Um, got resistance levels right under six. But let me, if this stock breaks around, around 650, listen, that's a gap fill right there. This thing could fill up really quickly. So I think we got a little sleeper here. The only thing is this. This is a, this is a scalper stock. It's a five cent spread stock. Got to be really careful on trading this one. All right. Anything else I'm moving? Uh, anything I'm missing? Yeah, Fold already got Ken. That one already got there. The AMD. Listen, another stock that's been doing great, but it's also it's got a, it's very very volatile. Um, as in for a lot of beginners out there. If you're not one, of, if you're not a if you're not a level two trader, a cyber trader, then stay away from this thing. This thing's a little bit um a little bit a little hectic. But yes, I'm throwing AMD back on my list. All right. Anything else missing that I want to have on a list? All right, guys. Listen, excited. Glad you enjoyed it. Today, by the way, class is going on. And then also we got open house um, at uh, 12 o'clock. So come down right after. Remember, we only trade about an hour a day. Let's make our money. Go to class. See you about 12 o'clock. Let's try to tell everyone the great war stories. Try to recruit more traders. Remember, the more people that are part of CTU, the more that want to learn how to trade like a cyber trader, the easier it makes all our lives uh, for all of us. Remember, that's one of the main reasons why I teach. People always ask me that. They says, if you're a great teacher, why do you teach? I says, I'm only as great of the people I teach around me because that's what makes me great. Other than that, can't be great trading on your own. There's no such thing. You got to be around a team. If that was the case, Mr. Goldman Sachs wouldn't have a, uh, you know, uh, Goldman Sachs, seventy percent of it of their of their um, their revenue wouldn't come from their trading department. And believe me, it's not one guy there. All right, there's thousands. So it's part of being a team effort. Anyway, good luck, everyone. Happy trading, and uh, I'll see you back at we'll see you in class. We'll see you at twelve o'clock, and we'll see you at two thirty. And if you're uh, on our YouTube channel, log in. We'll have another posting. Uh, we'll have this up in a little bit. We'll see you tomorrow morning for the next one. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.